Markiplier, and welcome back to Subnautica. No, Mark, this is my recording. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Subnautica. My name is Rakuna, and we are back at our base. We are here with Phil and Fred. Uh, no super anime presentation. <laughs> so in the last episode, we did manage to get the prawn suit, the recipe. Now, I kind of wonder, uh, what do I need to make that? And I kind of wonder if I have the resources to do such a thing. Uh, where Where is it? Where's that thing? Where did I put that thing? Oh, my God. Well, I guess, first of all, I never cleared out my inventory. I got a couple of posters to set up, and I got a couple of decorations to put on uh, at home as well. I better get to that right now. Kind of clear out my inventory, and after that, I think I left the uh, vehicle bay up by the life pod. I'm going to have to go and do all of that at once. What the hell? What happened here? Integrity restored. Okay. Training systems initiated. Okay. What the hell is going on? Why is there water getting inside of my base? Is there another leak? Yeah, it wasn't a leak a moment ago. Did something crash in my base? Maybe it's upstairs. Yeah? Yeah? Everything's good? No leaks? Okay. Oh, do I have the titanium for this? No, I don't. I don't. Alright, so let's start putting some posters up. What I'm gonna do is go downstairs. I have an extra room downstairs over here. This is gonna be my room. My room. There you go. That looks nice. What about this one? Huh? Is it is it the same thing? It's almost the same thing, but it isn't. Okay. And a keep calm poster. Oh, that that would almost be better at the entrance. <laughs> so I see it every time I come back in. I got this back that I can stick over here. I have another poster I can stick over there. Ooh. Looks nice. And I got a little plushy toy. You know, I'm just gonna put them down for now. Eventually I'll put some desks and put a bed and kind of decorate this properly. Uh, right now I just I just gotta get some items out of my inventory. There you go. A cap on the ground. Everything's on the ground. What else do I have? I got I got a lot of shit. I got a lot of stuff. So I'll get all of my tools back into my inventory, and I believe uh, that all of my tools could use a little change of batteries. I could put everything back in the battery charger. What was that? Some something fart? Hey, what the hell's wrong with you? Get it? Get out! Get away from here! Yeah. So I'll slip those batteries in here. And it would appear I have some titanium in here. You know what? Maybe I could do a little bit of a decorating. Eesh, my, my containers are getting full. <laughs> my containers are getting seriously full. Storage module and Cyclops Igen efficiency module. You know what? This fire extinguisher, I don't think I'll need it anymore. So I'll grab some of this titanium. Start by finishing this thing, because that looks ridiculous. Now, I got all of this free space. I don't know if I'm going to make all indoor grow beds. I don't know if it's worth with all the space that I have here. Maybe there's something else I can stick in here in the future. Where's that big round aquarium? Where, where is that thing? I only got this one. Guess I haven't found it yet. But uh, since there was a leak in here, I think it would be a wise idea to put a little bit more reinforcement. I suppose that if there was a leak, it's because uh, structural integrity is pretty much at its limit. Oh, there you go. That's a lot better. I don't think I'll have to worry about that anymore. So before we proceed, I will go to the left sock. I'll go check out about, uh, you know, getting that uh, vehicle module bay back at base. All systems online. Yep. Thank you very much, Beth. Let's head over there. Ah, I wasn't wrong. There it is. There it is. Let's, uh, no, I, I don't want to take, I want to take it. I, I want to grab it. Where, how, when? Climb. Maybe if I go on the side. There you go. Pack it up. I'm going to bring it back closer to my base. I will have easy access to it. Okay, let's just uh, release it right right here. There you go. Back to the surface you go. I'm going to, I'm going to, hey, I want to lift. I want to lift. Can, can I get on top of it? There you go. Lift me up to the top. Ah, it didn't work. Damn it. And there you go. Right, let's go and check out what I need to make the prawn suit. Uh, prawn suit, two plus seal ingots, aerogel, enamel glass, diamonds, and lead. Now, I don't have the aerogel. I think I need rubies and maybe some, uh, I don't know, sulfuric mushrooms or something like that. I can't really recall. So in the meantime, I'll have to go and, and do some other stuff. And in the meantime, I guess we got this uh, radio message that we can listen to. This is LifePod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora, 
Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we got the, this is life pod 19. Where's life pod 4? I'm not seeing life pod 4. Okay, so I got a list of uh, life pods over here, except they're not actually telling me where life pod 4 is. So they set close to the wreckage. Ugh, okay, huh, never thought about this, but I could put a little bit of uh, foliage. You know, that always looks nice. And uh, I could probably start making some other components to make, uh, you know, to have a better looking room. But to do that, of course, I'm going to need some more titanium. So I think I'm going to have this little scanner uh, make a little search for titanium. Metal salvage, right? Do that. All right. I got this other uh, storage module that I could probably stick inside of the sea moth. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, Rick. Uh, I said the love sock. <laughs> I never said sea moth. I don't know what you're talking about. So first things first, I need a couple of uh, fiber mesh. And to do that, I'm going to need a couple of these uh, creep vines. Let's get our knife out and get a few samples. I'm going to do that right away. I'm going to fill my inventory with this, convert all of this into fiber mesh. That way I don't, uh, I, I, because it just takes a lot of inventory space. And there you go. You got enough to make three of them. I, I just need one for a bed, but I think that having a little bit more, a little bit spare is always a good thing. Not too much. I don't want to clutter my uh, storage with all sorts of crap. Uh, it's going to be time to gather a little bit of that metal salvage and, you know, might as well gather a little bit of stalker tooth if they're currently playing with it. Uh, look at that. There's two more right there and there's another one right around the corner here. All right. There's no stalkers around, so I'm not going to go and look for that. Eventually, when I need it, I'll go back and look for stalker tooth. What the hell is going on in here? Why? 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 Why is this happening? Structural integrity is fine. I got it over to 11. What is going on? Why is it breaking like that? Is something crashing into my base? You stinking bastards. All right. I'm going to put a nice bed over here. But wait for the water to be gone. Otherwise, it's going to be all wet. Gonna have myself a nice little desk over here, right? And uh, yeah, before I continue, I guess I gotta convert this metal salvage into some titanium. Have ourselves a nice little chair over here. Some shelves right there. Maybe even a little vending machine in case I get snacky during the night. I like how with titanium and glass, I managed to manifest some chips, some snacks, all sorts of uh, crunchy potato goodness. I could put a little trash can over here, and I guess I could take these things and put them right in the shelf or something like that. Well, the cap is going to go here. And as for the toy, well, that, that doesn't fit there. I'm just going to put it on my desk. It's going to be looking at me while I'm working extremely hard. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. And aside from that, while I'm working, I'm going to have myself an amazing view. I can see outside. I can see everything. It's nice. Speaking of which, maybe I should put some spotlights outside, right? Kind of light up the uh, the area. Oh, that bag is going to stay here. Maybe eventually I'll put some more stuff. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to probably unlock some more recipes. In the meantime, I got to move. I got some shit to do. What the freaking hell? What? 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 Oh! Oh, shit! Shit! No! No! Don't! Don't be! Don't be there anymore! Okay, I, I gotta go under. Why did I think it was a good idea to do this? Why did I think it was a good idea to grow these bastards? Okay, so coming back to home is gonna be a, a, a death wish every goddamn time. Can I can I kill you? All right, slash slash. All right, that one's dead. Well, I'll kill them. <laughs> I can't. I can't stay here and have these damn things at home. This is stupid. Oh my. God, when everything can go wrong, it will go wrong, apparently. Draining systems initiated. Why is it doing that? Why? Anybody in the chat, just write it. Tell me why. Is it because of upstairs? Is there something upstairs that's lowering my structural integrity? Or is this just because of these uh, little spiky things that have been sh 
firing at my base. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's as stupid as that. Maybe it's those stupid tiger plant seeds. Ugh. Well, I am due for a little bit more storage, and I guess I could build a, a couple of these wall lockers. There you go. And uh, these ones you can write on. You can actually uh, identify. Now these, I'm going to throw the rest away. I'm going to keep one seed. One. Just in case. Just in case. I don't know why. Why is there another radio signal? What is this? This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there. So Aurora, you're just going to have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Sandwich run. You in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should Maybe be... she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay, The code. say regular, and she's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, you just say ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Okay. Really? Couldn't you have sent me that before I went to the Aurora? Jeez. Talk about freaking timing. My goodness. All right, so I'm going to grab a little bit more drinks. I'm going to grab some stuff to eat outside. Wh where's my medicine? I got a one last first aid kit. You know what? With this, uh, th these copper ores, I should be able to make myself a wiring kit and then make myself a chip because I need that to be able to make the, uh, the thing that makes me a... Uh, first aid kits and there you go computer chip on the way and the size of that what what am i missing oh fiber mesh hey good thing i did make some fiber mesh one titanium and let's just put this here at the entrance and maybe i could actually uh, put more than one if i ever needed okay so you're, you're gonna be building in the meantime great that's a good news right now the reason why i was kind of <laughs> going outside at first was to grab a snack before i was brutally attacked by those dicks all right, come on, all all the food in my tummy. You you go in my tummy, all of you. Already cooked. That's perfect. What the freaking hell attacked me again? That's those little red bastards. You know what? I'll ignore them. I'll ignore them. It is time to go. I have been wasting enough time as it is. Let's get a move on. Now, there is a signal here. Second Officer Keen's last broadcast location. But I wanted to check another thing out. Don't worry, I will not forget to go and check out the uh, Aurora's captain quarters. Uh, that will have to wait for now. Ooh, doesn't this place look kind of nice? Very nice and, and deep indeed. I think it was about the location. I don't remember, I don't recall. I should actually have set up a little uh, beacon. I, I should use those more often. I wanted to visit a place, I wanted to have a, a beacon to kind of be able to go back there, but I completely forgot I didn't have the resources, and uh, I left home again without the frickin' beacon. There was a wreckage when I came back from the Mushroom Kingdom, and uh, I, I know that it's not the Mushroom Kingdom, I just say that because it somehow entertains me. And over there, there was a wreckage that I haven't explored. I was thinking I was going to go check it out on the way back. And it's just to locate it now. Is this it? Is this the wreckage that I wanted to check? Maybe it is. Well, that sure looks like it. It sure looks like it. Now, I haven't gone into there. There might be something good. Ow. The frickin' rock. <laughs> thank you, Beth. Yes, thank you again. Well, let's open up and let's go check what's on the other side here. Oh, th things. Oh, grappling arm fragment. Oh, that's going to be really useful in the future. That That is going to help a lot with the, uh, the prawn suit. Now, let's go deeper over here, see if there's anything else. Oh, power cell fragment charger. Ha-ha! <laughs> Nice, and a uh, plant pot. Sweet. Dramatic music! And another grappling arm fragment. Ah, <laughs> sweet. Okay, so that that is great. So when I manage to get the bronze suit in, I'll be able to build that. Now I want to check this place thoroughly. There's probably something else. Now, I know it is uh, slightly dark here for you guys. Uh, I'll try and stay in the light. There you go. Got a light here. Okay, so this goes down 
upstairs? Is there anything down here, actually? No, okay, it's just one room. I gotta use a laser cutter to, uh, to do this. Alright, Rick, skip this part. I don't want any freaking seizures. Open sesame! Ooh, we got another, uh, door over there we need to cut open. Now, before I proceed here, I just want to go back, make sure I gotta, I get my fill of oxygen. I don't want to die from a lack of uh, awareness. There you go. All filled up. Let's go back. Okay, so what do we have in this room? Bring out my uh, scanner. That's a lot of radios. That's a freaking ton, ton of radios. Cyclops fire suppression system. Nice. We got another... Uh, well, it seems like there was another prawn arm over here. Another one there. Prawn suit. And I'm for some reason, I'm holding my habitat builder. <laughs> it's not the right tool. Not the right tool at all. Right? We got anything else in here? No? Okay, let's cut this door open. Rip. Skip again. Alrighty then. What do we have here? I think this might be the last room. What do we got in there? Ooh. Yeah, the, the swim charge fins. Those are good. You can swim faster, and uh, while you're swimming, it's recharging the tool you're holding. That is some good stuff. All right, so what do we have in this location now? More, more things? Seems like another freaking dead end. Oh. Open sesame, I say. Okay, this takes me out to the other side. Okay, great. Let's swim back to the love sock. Uh... I'm going to go through one last time inside. I just want to do one final check, make sure that I didn't forget anything. All right, I see that we got a drill arm fragment. I don't know if we've unlocked this yet, but that's going to come in handy. One of two. So there's got to be another one somewhere in the area. All right, let me just go and uh, do this quickly. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I've looked. I haven't found anything else. Now it's just to look around here, see if there's some more. Look at that. Huh? Aren't I lucky? What is this? Oh, nice. A creature decoy. I suppose when we find some, uh, some of these giant uh, leviathans, you can shoot that from the cyclops to kind of uh, <laughs> get them off your back for a second. Oh, more lithium and a little bit of gold. Might as well pick that stuff up. There seems to be a tunnel going inside. I'll just get my fill of oxygen, and I'll be back for that. At the same time, I'm going to be looking for that last uh, arm drill part. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, I actually just saw the other piece right here while I was swimming back. Let's get that little recipe done. Yes. Thank you, Beth. That means uh, we'll be able to build that along with the uh, grappling hook. So we'll be able to wander around, and when we find some of these big deposits, we can pick them up. What is this? Say this rifle fragment. Let's uh, go and scan that. Oh, there you go. Yep, and we'll be able to shoot that at our enemies, and I think it will kind of freeze them. Or something of the sort. Can't recall. So before we proceed, I'm just going to drink a little something. Let's go down there. Hello, spotted dark leaf. It seems to be quite empty. Oh, no, we got some rubies in here and some lithium. I needed the rubies. Sweet. Let's scan that little sucker. All right. And if there's some more, I will try to grab it as much as possible. I need a couple of them to make the aerogel. Just got to figure out what's the other items that I need afterwards. Okay. More, uh, more rubies lying about? No? Fine. Ancient floaters. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll scan it. Alright, so this is pretty much one of the things I wanted to take a look at. That's the whole reason why I came here. And now that we have some aerogel, no, not some aerogel, but we got the, some of the ingredients that we need, maybe we can actually build some. I'm not exactly sure yet. We'll go and poke around here. This is pretty much a squirreling expedition. Yeah, squirreling, of course. You can't see me play a survival game and uh, not see me squirrel. It's a thing. 
Oh, hi. Hey, guys. Uh, please don't touch me. I, I, I feel dirty if you do. There's more, uh, more little passages here. It's, it's really dark in here. Really dark. I should actually bring a freaking flashlight to things like this. Alright, so there was nothing. Just pretty much going into circles with this. Now, I'm pretty much approaching my uh, crush depth, so let's not go deeper than that. Those are nice big uh, big rocks, big formations. I mean, these uh, big gels there, these big things are what are keeping them afloat. That's pretty cool, otherwise they'd sink down. I love the whole alien nature of things. Now, sadly, I don't know if on the outside I'll be able to locate some more uh, some more rubies. So what I might do is just uh, go on the top here and locate, see if there's holes to go inside, first of all. If there's none, then I'm going to have to uh, backtrack, head back home, and see what I can do. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a little pathway down there. And apparently it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Ooh, nice. Okay, this, uh, am I, am I still inside the thing? Maybe not. Okay. Hey, guys. Lots of little crab thingies. Oh, look at that. All right, more rubies. So I'm going to get my fill. I'll grab as many as I can. At least I'll have a few uh, that I can stick in my uh, locker at home. And again, yes, I'll have to have this all more organized. And uh, guys, I would appreciate it if you didn't poke me. I, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I am at uh, 334 meters, uh, yeah, a location where the uh, love sock could not reach, ever. Not yet, not with the current upgrades right? that it has. Eventually, with the aerogel, I'll be able to make it uh, be able to go deeper than 300 meters. I think the next step, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be 500 meters. Now, I got to get out of here. Where's that? Where's the exit? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I got 66 seconds. Okay, this seems like a way out. Hopefully it is. I don't want to die down here. I don't want to die. All right, I made it out. Where the hell is the love sock? There it is. Okay. <laughs> I was I was slightly worried. I was slightly worried. I know. Thank you, Beth, but I'm okay. Oh, shit. This thing has 26 le life left. Okay, okay. I'm going to go head high a little bit and fix her up. I guess all the creatures saw it as a big old snack. Yeah, Seamoth, let's get you uh, fixed up a little bit before you decide to blow up. Hey, what the hell? Something attacking? Oh, that guy. Hey. Hey, Bone Shark. What are you doing? Let me scan you. Huh? You want to hurt my ship? Oh, I'm going to scan you. Yeah. What do you think about that? All right. Now that it's fixed, let's head back to Rectopia, and I'll see you guys there. Hey Beth, how you been doing? How's everything at base? Uh, is everything flooding again? I hope not. I freaking hope not. Hey, wait a second. Let's go check out the plants upstairs. Ooh, hi. Hey, pick up a uh, speckled rattler. Okay, is that it? I just pick it up. You know what? I'll just stick it back in there, I guess. And uh, yeah, I haven't had like many more plants to collect, so uh, let's just ignore it. That's a very manly squeal. So if I look over here, I have nothing. I have nothing that I require to be able to make the aerogel. What is this? Oh, I can make another scanner? You know what? No. No, I say. And uh, yeah, the, <laughs> I guess I'm going to stick all the rubies in this box. There you go. A couple of them. That's fine. So I can make a status rifle. Freeze physical objects in place. I don't know if that's worth it. Is it worth it? I don't know. Or a propulsion cannon. But I don't have the full recipe for that. So if I want to be able to uh, build my cannon, uh, will, you, will you stop running away? I got the munchies. I want to eat your eye. Thank you. Great. That was delicious. I'm going to need some more table coral. And I, I believe there's some pretty much lying around everywhere. Like uh, right over here. There you go. And there you go. Now, uh, I, while I'm at it, I'm going to grab some of this as well. I'm going to make myself some more water. And I'll also need a couple of these uh, salts to be able to do that. So I can make some bleach and I'll make some water out of it. So without further ado, the status rifle. Nice. 
And I think this is a little bigger. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is slightly bigger than uh, the other items. But I guess I'm gonna go outside. Just give it a little go. Give it a little blast. Hey guys. Why are you comparing me to that guy? I don't care. All right, let's uh, let's try and fire this sucker up. And whoa, nice! Everything's frozen. I can grab all these fishies. Ha 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 ha! All the fishies for me. Well, I mean that's gonna come in handy in some sticky situations, I'm sure. In the meantime, I'm gonna make myself some more food and water. Kind of get the, a little prepared. Because I know that there is going to be more to do up ahead. And there you go. I am good. I got plenty of water. I got plenty of stuff. I guess I could store some more. No need to carry all of this around. And the next thing I'll want to do is uh, go to that captain's room. Yeah. There's got to be something over there worthwhile. But I believe that is the time that we have for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. So until then, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.